two. All right, so so hello everyone. Um, I have a very 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 special person to me, Liz, who's on. And I'm excited to sit down because it's been a long time. It's been a long time, but but we we are close in a way, and um, we spent a lot of time together in high school in very vulnerable situations with bright lights and singing in front <laughs> of uh, random people and random places. But it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Um, but welcome to the Beanie Podcast. I believe you're episode five. Okay. Yeah, you're episode five. And um, um, to keep you kind of a rundown, how this is. It's, Beanie stands for the beginning of the never ending. Okay. Um, it's kind of like the beginning of you and the never ending of that. We don't, we don't really believe that like you, once you kind of leave this earth, that's it, like you're, you're done. We, we also be- don't, don't believe that like you, you don't have any influences or you don't like impact people in some way, shape or form. Um, and so through your life story, you may have impacted people in a fun way. Uh, in a negative way, in a positive way, but in, in a, you, you leave an effect nonetheless. And so our goal is to kind of explore those stories um, and be able to see kind of like how, how what your life has looked like and uh, maybe uh, what someone in your family or may learn something new about you. So but thank you for joining us. We do have a painting dedicated to you. Um, we have to be honest here. We, we, we were not uh, fully prepared to, to present a really good painting, so we do apologize. But That's I okay. think this is uh, uh, Sarah's some, one of her really good works, so shout out to him song for, for sh- um, sharing and uh, you know, donating your painting for this podcast. So get excited. So your full name for us to start. Elizabeth Ann Kelly. All right. Well, <laughs> welcome. And so where, where are you born? Where, where does it start? What's your story? Um, here. Oh, I really? actually live in Rancho. Or I grew up in Rancho, three houses down from John Claude. I saw you had him on. Yo, <laughs> seriously? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shout outs to, yo, yeah. JC, listen. Oh, uh, we can't, we can't get away. No, <laughs> um, so I didn't know you grew up out here. Yep. So yeah, Rancho's always raised. been home. Always, yeah. Oh, is your family from out here as well? Um, no, they're from Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. okay. Um, and I, I take you visit there, I imagine. Yeah, we used to visit more often when I was little, but we've gone here and there when I was a teenager, and we drive out there. So how is do you do you like it more in Minnesota? Have you <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm a California girl. <laughs> All right. I respect that. Um, <laughs> um, okay, cool. So you grew up in Rancho. Uh, any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have five brothers and one sister. Five brothers? Yeah. Wow, that must have been a tense household. It's a big family. Yeah, well, I um, we always say there's like two families because right. some of my siblings are like way older than me. And then me and my two brothers around me. So I was pretty little. I was like in third grade when my older siblings kind of started getting married and doing their thing. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, you were you were much much younger. Yeah. So. Oh, uh, that must have been an, uh, an exciting household, I imagine. Oh yeah, I had nieces and nephews when I was little, and. They're like almost brothers and sisters in a way. Yeah, to my little brother especially, That's he's fair. only like a couple years apart. From them. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, was was it always kind of protective? Do you always did you kind of feel like the the older brothers were like looking out for you? Oh two yes. Two sisters must have been very interesting. So. Yeah, they were very protective. You know, when a boy would come over, and my older brother, he's like he's forty three or something, so oh, he's a good wow. amount older than me, and he'd come out like he's got a beard, and he would like threaten them. And, one of my boyfriends was like so scared of him. All his friends would make fun of him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. There's a lot of things where you're a kid that you, you kind of I don't want to say take for granted, but you definitely don't um, have the same mindset, you know, than, as you do now as you've gotten older. Definitely not. So, um, so how was childhood like? Was it was it pretty exciting? Was it fun? Oh yeah, I had a great childhood. My parents are great. We did, we traveled. We. The whole night. I mean, I was blessed. I got, I mean, not what I wanted, like a spoiled brat, but I mean, I, you know, we lived well. Grew up, grew up in a good household, yeah. So you said you traveled? Yeah, just like 
we've done a lot of things throughout the United States, been to Hawaii. I've been to, I don't, I should probably count, but a lot of states and like seen Mount Rushmore and Yellowstone. We drove to Alaska. So you, this is like a uh, American dream story, it feels. You kind of have like, no, I mean, sincerely, that's really cool. Yeah. I think um, that's an inspiration to kind of want to be able to go and travel and see. One of the things I was talking to a good friend about, and he was telling me that um, a lot of people don't recognize that America has a lot to to show you. You, yes. you don't have to always travel to Europe or, or you know, right. to, you know to, to the East. You can always, you, there's so much at home that you can just cherish, you know, if you mm -hmm. if you take the time to view it. And it's awesome. It seems like your parents wanted to show you that world. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, for, I, mean, I imagine being from Minnesota, right? Yes. I imagine for being there, um, showing you where they, tr like that whole travel distance. Mm -hmm. Did you guys drive everywhere or was you mostly fly? We mostly drove and that's why we actually drove to Alaska because my parents got married there. Married in Alaska? Mm -hmm. uh, um, my parents have like a, a movie story, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so it's crazy, their story. but. Um, yeah, so for the 30th wedding anniversary, me and my two brothers and my parents, we drove to Alaska to so, see where they got married. So, um, um, what is their kind of most favorite state? What do you, do you know? My parents? No, state. State in terms of, uh, uh, the, you said you visited a few states when you traveled. What was their favorite state or mine? Yours. Oh. Um, I don't really know. I couldn't pick out one, really. Oh, they're all, like, just... It was just fun seeing all the different things. One of my favorite things, it's kind of silly, but we went to, I think it's in New Mexico where you, the four states. Oh, okay. You can like stand in four states at once. Oh, really? Or not, you put like two feet, you lay down in two <laughs> arms. There's like a square and it's the corner of all four states. Oh, seriously? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. So. It's really cool. Um, that's awesome. So you, you, you got to um, see these different different places um did you travel all throughout your life or was it just kind of the beginning and towards the um no pretty much all throughout my life mostly when i was in high school it kind of stopped you know you're just busy mm. but when i was younger it was more but you went everywhere yeah so um can you describe the kind of the personalities of your brothers and sisters <laughs> from the top to the bottom Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> we're all different we're we're all kind of like have a, I guess say an addictive personality <laughs> <laughs> to things, people, whatever you, you know, but you know, I mostly see it now that we're all parents mm. and two of my brothers aren't parents, but still, you know, we're all grown up and we're all so different, just, but we, we get along like when we get together and everybody's my one my second oldest brother he's quiet and mm. my other brothers because they're there's three older boys that grew up really close together and they could get him to do anything <laughs> like here stand here let me blow this dart at you or eat a penny or eat a dollar he, you know he's like that and my brother below him is just you know take control and <laughs> <laughs> So, so you you kind of have these um, this dynamic of of, of uh, everyone's kind of like playing their own part in a way. Yeah. Um, uh, I I understand what you mean by your family, your mother, your parents kind of have this movie kind of life as well. Yeah. So so it seems like it ended in or in terms of for their life, it seems like it ended really well. It seems like uh, um, they got to raise a big family and not only have a cool journey, right? Do you feel as if like when you kind of entered kind of like the whole elementary school, middle school, uh, the whole traveling experience has helped you a lot with like meeting new people? Um. Uh, no, not really. I felt like, I, I never really felt afraid to make friends or mm. meet people and I mean I know when we went and traveled we always made friends along the way but I don't feel like it helped in really in any way. Just. You felt like that was just you. That was just me, yeah. What do you describe yourself when you're little? What type of like are you like this person who's outgoing, running around, being free? Imagine with brothers like that. Are you I mean they're all much older at the time. But um uh yeah, or do you feel like you're more reserved? Do you feel like it's a balance no. of both? I feel like people think I'm reserved, but like at home and like no, just 
slippery and I was a wild child. <laughs> Just sassy and attitude-y and, you know, like that. I want what I want when I want it. Yo, I had a I, shirt that I can said completely that. See this. <laughs> Yo, I can, I can completely see this because um, one of the things, because well, obviously we knew each other in high school. I mean, you were, uh, I would say, definitely a free spirit. I mean, you have, obviously, our clip. I mean, we had a small, quiet group yeah. of friends, you know? Um, but anytime I would see you, like, at lunch, you would always kind of, like, you know, <laughs> bounce around, like, holy shit, this is what someone did. Was that okay? Like, you're <laughs> always kind of be able to, yeah, to kind of see different people and connect with others. You connected with me. I was really yeah. interesting. But like, you ever just connect with people in a way. Um, and it's kind of cool to kind of be able to see you, be able to, be able to go through that. And so any uh, core people in your life, friends that you can name, during like your kind of uh, elementary, middle school kind of like? Um, that I'm still friends with? No, 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 just more we just at that time. Yeah. Um, I had a really close friend, Bethany, in elementary school. I'd hang out at her house and I'd swim and and then she moved. Oh. And that was like devastating, you know, as a little girl, like yeah. your best friend's moving. <laughs> What did she move to? Do you know her? Um, I think Utah. Oh yeah, she yeah. Was, she, I'm she friends was with gone. her on Facebook. She was out there. Yeah. She she was the distance. Well, she was little. I mean, they were. She was a kid, so you know, she had to go, <laughs> and they stayed. And <laughs> <laughs> um, but then when I was in junior high, I was homeschooled for two years. Oh. So, you know, I was really nervous. Like homeschoolers, they're weird. Like no way. Yeah. But they're normal. <laughs> um, and I made some of my my best friends that were my best friends for years and you know we're homeschooled so we went to the mall we got Disneyland passes. Wait how does that work though because every time I imagine being if I imagine being homeschooled it's just me and my family right is it different? right yeah like your mom's your teacher but so my mom found like a homeschool group oh and then it was like this co-op so like on Thursdays we go to a park and the moms taught different classes and then, like, every Friday we'd go to the park and just hang out. So you kind of, if you're homeschooled, you kind of got to find a group because you don't want your kids to not have a social life. Right, right. Yeah. So, so how, how do you, do you like it, okay, I'm just, do you like it more homeschooled or do you, would you, you like it more in the kind of the public school? Public school. Okay. Right, yeah, right, just, yeah. Because I, I think it's a balance, especially because right now, um, I mean, previously, you, you have kids, and yes. I imagine COVID just completely, just, just like, completely, I mean, with the, ex hopefully, with the experience that you had, um, helped, but um, that, that put a whole different perspective on people, where they have to kind of keep their kids home, and kind of develop them. Um, do you feel like it was what you went, what you went through when you were getting homeschool versus now, of kind of the whole COVID, pre-COVID, post-COVID um, experience, do you feel like it was about the same, the education, or... Teachings for Definitely you. not. Okay, how? Why, why, do you, why do you, what, what do you think the difference is? Well, I mean, through COVID, like my daughter, my oldest daughter was in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Just the online learning, especially in kindergarten, but they just with the teacher online, they didn't really do anything. Really? Like their teacher was great. I'm sure in person, like she could have done all this stuff, but you know, they read. And it just is very hard mm -hmm. to keep all the kids on the computer. Oh, so focused. the biggest difference here from what Richard's saying is that if one is a virtual teacher while the other one, while well, your mother was obviously present. Right. Like if the teacher could have come to our house, that would have been way different. A completely different situation. Yeah. So it oh. still was like a homeschool. Like she was home, but her teacher was on the computer mm. every day. For how long? Um... For kindergarten, I think it was like 45 minutes. They did it like twice, like at 9 or 8.30 and then at like 1 in the afternoon for like 45 minutes to an hour. Do you feel like um, your daughter learned anything? No. <laughs> and that's Nora, crazy. that's her name, she is Excuse very me. smart. We've actually talked about having her skip a grade. Um, so she is very bored <laughs> in school in general. <laughs> so that was very difficult. I ended up actually just getting like books off of Amazon and teaching her my own stuff. I th don't. Do you feel like kids nowadays are learning faster than than? than yes, especially with technology around. They're just. I think their brains are just moving a mile a minute. Like it's there. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, uh, imagine uh, your, your kids. Do they have tablets? They my older two do. Yeah, they don't use it a lot though. I <laughs> got them. And I'm like, sorry, nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got you have to be careful because it's like it's it's like um it sucks you I've, I've my i have a little sister she's five now oh, okay yeah and um i'm i'm kind of i'm put a tablet in her hand and like where she goes and how she navigates it it's very crazy what's also really weird is that like you'll give her a tablet right and then um 20 minutes later it got like four more apps on it and you're like how did you <laughs> download yeah. four more how do you know how to like what is going on here and so it's just like give it let it another hour goes by and there's like eight more apps on it and he's like what is going on here so i think that there's a the learning curve of technology is just so much faster yes um um, I've seen. I remember. I was. At, I was. I was at a restaurant and I was watching this baby swiping. Like, I mean, she had. I mean, it's the fact that she she knew the gesture, just to like. Like the that's business. That's just like it's insane. It's, My, it's crazy. I have a it? one and a half year old, and she'll like pick up the phone and move her thumb. Like, yeah, like she's texting, Yo, and it's like, wild. and it's kind of sad though. You think like, oh well, that's what she sees. You know, mom and dad do, and you realize like. Okay. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I think it's, um, I mean, you're, it's, it's going to be so interesting. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know if it's an excitement for me, but I think it's for sure. It's like when we, when we were kids, um, just the, the, the accessibility wasn't like that. There was much more harder gate to entry. I remember right. like, I used to have like a juke and I used to have like, like these, <laughs> I used to have my, dude, I had a, like a flip phone. I would like, oh, yeah. I remember trying to like be on a phone call with, you know, a girl, middle of the night, it's like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> hey, yeah. Try whispering, trying to like have these conversations and the phone would die. It was like, it'd be so hot because you're trying yeah. to be flexible. It's just so different. Or like, you're texting, you have to press the button three times yes. to get to see. Or <laughs> Holy yeah. cow, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I, it's just, um, um, I think as millennials, we we, we, we kind of remember what it feels like to go outside and to be able yes. to have, a, like, literally a community waiting for you. Right. Do you feel like, um, you know, you you mentioned that JC was lived next to you. Yes. Um, how was that kind of, like, outside experience being a kid, going out there and just kind of seeing, did you have, like, a like a good block? I don't know. If oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there was... Um, three girls that that we were I was really good friends with sure. and then John Claude and Jocelyn his sister played with them um and it was fun you know we'd go outside and just play our parents didn't sit outside and watch us and we lived on a cul-de-sac yeah. we had and seek in the dark and then all of a sudden you hear your name being called okay it's time to go home yeah but yeah we had a good group of kids that's see that's yeah it was so fun if you could recreate that for your, your kids oh i'm trying you, oh, okay. oh yeah so <laughs> i see i know liz i'm like listen you're not one to just sit there and let no. it just happen <laughs> you want to fight for it yeah um okay cool so so as you were mentioning um, you have, a, a, like you said, a really good friend. Her name is Beth, is that correct? Bethany, yes. Bethany, excuse yeah. me. And so um, um, she was like a good core, a good group of friend in elementary. Mm -hmm. She moved away. Um, any other good core friends throughout middle school, maybe? Yeah, school? in middle school, um, the girls I homeschooled with, there was me, Hannah, Lindsay, Chelsea, Jenna. And we did everything together. I mean... You know, I get in trouble with the lads on my phone, and then we'd be together. Hey, can I borrow your phone? Text my boyfriend. <laughs> we had sleepovers. You know, I'd go with their family and stay at the beach. Right. Just everything. So, so do you feel like um, uh, the, that? Wait, you wait. You went to the wait. Hold up. So you actually went to the beach and like camped out and just. Yeah. Um, what? One of the girls, their family, they still do it every year. They go to Doheny Beach, and they camp on the beach. So I got to do that once maybe twice with them that is lit yeah okay. it's fun Get excited all right it's fun um and uh do you said some of them you still kid or no most of them are not most um i'm well. friends with them on facebook one of them i stay more in touch with actually one of them i guess just moved back so she's been hey let's get together oh so get excited. i'm hopefully seeing her soon yeah, yeah let's go i think it's good to kind of reconnect i think it's important as well to to, to kind of go back in time and to uh kind of you know just like appreciate some of the little things that happen right. in life you know um and um i know it's any well i imagine you said you you did your parents have a big family as well sorry yes okay yeah my so, dad's one of 12 and my mom's one of eight <laughs> and they're are they all out in minnesota or um my mom's family yes 
My dad's family is in different places. Okay. That's 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 crazy. Okay, so yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. That's a huge support system. I think. Oh as well. yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, so so, entering high school, you you mentioned you're a little sassy, right? You kind of <laughs> have like this. Is that still pertinent at this time? Do you still feel like this kind of flavor? Yeah. It's like, oh oh yeah. yeah. I was telling my husband, well, you married me, <laughs> so get excited. You knew. You knew. <laughs> you know what you're getting into. Yeah. Um, so you have this sense of flavor, um, you know, and you're, you're, I imagine, pretty confident during this time. Try to be. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, and I mean, that's when I first interacted with you, I think that's when we start, started connecting. Uh, I don't know when, I was in, like, the, what is it, just like, oh, she was in concert choir and then chamber singers? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do we go to yeah. choir the same, I don't know if we were in the same class at the same time, I just know we ended up in chamber singers around the same time. But yeah. Do you know what year did you when you got there? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't remember either. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think I was a I was a sophomore, right? How does it work? I think I was a sophomore, but you're you're a year ahead of me. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was a sophomore, and um, um, I remember our group because we had. Um, did you did you have a, a mm -hmm. Mr. Krami as? Yes. Okay. My freshman year. So yeah. listen, okay. I need I need to do this with you, okay? Okay. Mr. Krami's coming. Oh really? Yo, That's I, so cool. I'm working on Miss Akrami. Shout out to her. She says she's more than welcome to come on, and I was so excited. That's so awesome. so excited because I'll, I'll be very interested to kind of have us, uh, you know, to, you, you know, just because one of the, I think the best teacher I have ever had. Um, this the the I you know, know you barely had. I had her for two years, so I know. You, but she was like a big support for me as well, and. Uh, the way she she uh, any you know like she, she helped me through my life and stuff. Right. So, uh, any like cool major teachers that that kind of influenced you as well? Um, I had this teacher in third and fourth grade. Mm. Her name was it was Mrs. Lavender. Then she got married, Mrs. Lonslager. And I'm still I actually just ran into her recently. Oh, get excited! Yeah, I'm friends with her on Facebook. She got close to my family. She came to like my first communion. Oh, like wow. yeah, so. Yeah, she just, she had a little one and she'd come into class and she would come sit on my lap and yeah, so we got, I got really close with her. And, um, uh, do, do you kind of feel as if, um, uh, if you, if you had the chance, right, um, profession-wise, would you become a teacher? Would you like to, to kind of be in that kind of roller space for you? Actually, that's what I wanted to be growing up was a teacher, definitely. I had a feeling. I remember just because you were so helpful. I remember just uh, the the type of person you were. Well, you definitely some flavor, but I think you 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 cared for people. Um, is that kind of do you think? Where do, where do you think kind of that came from? Um. Well, just my parents. You know, mm -hmm. they're very caring, and we were able to talk about our feelings and share, and they're there. And I've always been kind of. You know, my parents say, you know, I feel everybody's feelings. Mm. So if you're hurting, I'm hurting. Like, so it's still hard, you know, if my friend or my brother or my kid, like, it's very heavy. Right. And so that's why I'm always like, how can I help you? What can I do? Like, <laughs> um, yeah. uh, But I think that makes some of the best teachers. I also think this, that makes some, I think it makes some of the best people in general, you know? Um, so, so. Uh, any key people in high school that you think you can, you can reference? Um, well, you know, our group of chambers, that yeah. was pretty much, I mean, I had other friends, I know, I hung out with these girls, Giselle and Mila Farr. Shout out to then, Giselle, I hope she's doing well. Yeah, she actually just had a baby. And, oh, Yeah, I've been talking to her married. a little bit, so, um, but then we had like a little group of friends, but I feel like really chambers... Those are the people that most stick out to me. Heck yeah, I think uh, we had, um, man, I think that that class was like, I would, I, I hate, I, I, this is weird to, to say this, but if I could say anything was a safe place, was that place. You Definitely. can walk through those doors, no matter what's happening in your day. And um, I can't, I don't remember ever going into that class and feeling like, oh, 
thing and I got choir. Right. Like never. <laughs> no. I was like, thank God I got yeah. choir. You <laughs> could <laughs> breathe, you could scream, you could cry. Yeah, you could laugh. like <laughs> holy snap, give me all the all the uh the to hear that it was one of the it was it was um man, I was I was just trying to talk to Logan. Oh yeah. Oh my god the energy logan would have i mean i just try to i hit up logan he, he's he he's in a different state but he wants to hop on okay. as well and um um you know i remember uh i know he calls himself dre now but um oh my gosh i'm trying to remember most of these people uh because i don't I, man well you know i should have brought i should have brought my my i should have my yearbook i had that sitting i literally had that sitting inside my shelf i was like oh, actually let me text sarah real quick if she if she's not gone i'm like yo can you pick up my yearbook real quick, Sarah? <laughs> well, Sarah, if you're listening, turn around and pick up my yearbook before you come. Um, uh, but anyway, so, uh, so yeah, I think that was a, a, a big time. Were you part of any clubs or anything outside of choir? Or was that no, just year? choir. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that's the yeah, only it thing was, I was. It was good enough for me. <laughs> uh, that's like the, it was, it's, I guess it's kind of one of those things where you kind of, with that group of people was like, um, even Crystal, Miss Parker, even our, our new choir yeah. teacher, I really enjoyed her as well. She, she was, was definitely great. a little bit different from, from the economy, less, less caring and such, but definitely more musically talented. Her, the way she, 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 she really cared about the songs and the music. Yes. Um, she definitely, uh, she was, she was, I liked her because she, she kind of had this like leadership teacher mentality. She would not let you just like do every anything you want. No, she, it was not <laughs> like she, she was like I'm not trying to babysit you guys. Yeah. And all you wanted to do was be a kid. She was like no. Mr. a would let you be a kid. Yeah. she'll let you just sit there and <laughs> just was. like you know you want to just go a walk. You're like go walk, okay. Yeah. And then, you know it's, it's like get what are you doing? Get in your spots. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> like go. I was like oh shoot. Um, um, but anyway, so uh, I know we did a lot of competitions as well. And if I get this right, you're alto or soprano? Soprano. Uh, soprano. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, um, um, did you feel like the that choir experience um, um, did that kind of carry over to uh, post or post high school? Do you feel like that kind of kind of transcended um, past there? I get not really. I always felt kind of like just shy, like singing. Like I liked it, but I'm not very good. I'm not gonna sing very loud. And so you don't sing in the car. I know you do. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, okay, there we and go. I sing with my kids, definitely. Awesome. Definitely. <laughs> good. Good. I know you do. I was like, okay, because you have a great voice. You can sing. Whether you <laughs> definitely can see the 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 shyness part. Because I'm shy. I was a little shy too. I yeah. think I, I think um um. I think that choir pulled something out of you because it allowed us to be able to kind of really, you know, we, we, we really leaned on each other, so we kind of had that support. It was kind of like, I was never really nervous singing in front of you guys, but when, every time we had to do like a comp, like we had to do like our, our choir shows at like the end of yeah. the school, or we have to go to different schools, like, um, um, or go to Disneyland or some other, right. uh, I was like, oh, fuck, holy yeah. shit. And everyone was like looking at each other. And everyone's like, okay, we got this, guys. Like, okay. Everyone's like, you know, it was yeah. kind of like a, um, imagining a sports team, but like <laughs> a singing yeah, team. Yeah, singing group. High school musical, <laughs> but like better. I mean, um, we had a, man, high school musical. Yo, did you watch that too? Oh, yeah. Thing? I just watched it last night. Like, oh. The second one, not lying. <laughs> yo, get excited. <laughs> We're having high school musical marathon right now, so. <laughs> Let's go. But I feel like a little kid. I'm like looking at my girls. Isn't Zac Efron's so cute. <laughs> yes, let's go. That's it. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so what? What? So that's I think where we. I mean, we unplugged. You know. Yeah, we um, did. What happened after high school? I mean, there's a lot happening in high in high school that I imagine we shouldn't talk about right now. But <laughs> I. But but <laughs> maybe in a, we have. So to let you know how we do this, right? Okay. We do an AM podcast. This is pleasant. Okay. This is very <laughs> PG. Very simple, clean. Okay, then we have a nighttime podcast. Okay. We drink and smoke and we do random stuff. Oh, we that's fun. Be doing. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what we kind of let all out. But we're this is just a chill. Just, don't say anything. <laughs> Nothing to <laughs> just want to hear your story. Yeah, yeah. Um, all the craziness will happen at night. But um, <laughs> um, so after high school, you you, you graduate. Mm -hmm. um, what what was the next step for you? Uh, what did you What did you end up doing? Were you working during high school? Um, no. Okay. I didn't, I just worked at Sprouts after high school. Ooh. So I, um, 
I always told everybody, you know, I just want to get married and be a mom. Like, oh, I knew I that's it. what yeah. I wanted. So, I had my boyfriend, I think I was 16. So, like, he went to prom, homecoming, everything yeah. with me. And, like, yeah. I was like, no, I'm going to marry him. Like, I just knew. <laughs> I thought, you know, I right. felt like I knew. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I worked at Sprouts and... He got a job. He went to a trade school, and we got married. I was 20 when we got married. Yeah, you were you were fairly young. Remember that? You were, you were yeah. fairly young. I didn't. What? Gosh. Um. And uh, his name. I'm sorry. Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. So for Ryan, um, he went to the same high school as us. No. No. He was homeschooled his whole life. Okay, this I was wondering. So yeah. how did you meet him? Through a group of friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just. I don't know how he knew them but we knew the same people and we hung out so well, uh what trade is he in he's a lineman he works for edison he's electrician. not a football player that's what people think when i say <laughs> lineman <laughs> he's uh, he'd lineman. be climbing poles he doesn't yes. like voltage uh i was an electrician with the air force okay you know I, I was i was climbing poles i was a lineman as well okay and um um that's a hard trade oh yeah that's a long school too exhausting it's a hard well, trade yeah it was a four uh, four months Oh, that was a four months. Well, yeah, it's 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 I not think. a it's not a simple um, no, job. It's, it's very it's very weird and complicated and get weird, and especially dangerous. with Edison. Yeah. Gosh, the grid is so old, oh. and you just have to deal with this old equipment. And hopefully, the guy before you, you know, did everything right. So um, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. so so uh, you guys end up getting married. Mm -hmm. How soon was the f the first kid from surgery? Right away. Oh, so get yeah. excited. I, I wanted to have a baby right away. I think we got we got married in May, and August we knew we were pregnant. Let's go. So I felt like it was February in the time. I think in like June I was like, why am I not pregnant? <laughs> and then, I, you know, right away. <laughs> so so um, first kid and it's a, a daughter, right? Yes, okay. we had three girls. Uh, I thought you had a son. Oh no. So so. He's like, shoot, I need this sticky note. <laughs> I don't know if I should pick it up or not. Adam is now with the ultimate <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> She's like, I will not sacrifice. No, I won't. I won't sacrifice the bill. So, um, so, so, sorry. So, um, you're, you're, you have your first daughter. You're newly, ma you're obviously newly married yes. as well. Um, and what, tell me the, the kind of like, the dynamic of this kind of relationship so far. Yeah, well, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, we went through a lot. Yeah. Like our first five years of marriage. Um, so I get really sick when I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. So that was hard, you know. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, well, we have nine more months of each other and kind of getting to know each other as husband and wife, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. I was just so sick. Like, I couldn't. Um, we have a baby, and that's a lot. Yeah. You know? Um, you don't know it until you have one. You think, no, it's fine, one kid. Like, no, <laughs> it's hard. You gotta give us a and tip, man. I need tips, okay, listen. Well, now that I have three, we'll look <laughs> at each other, like when our older two spend the night at our, like my parents, and I'm like, this is how easy it was with one kid. Like, she's asleep, we can do anything we want. Right. But when you only have your first, it's not easy. Mm. Um, and then you know we're young, so he's young, and a guy, like he was never like, a bachelor got to go out drinking right, so right, we right. struggled with all that you know but so that was definitely difficult and he was an apprentice for edison so they work a lot yeah and then you're on call 24 7 and you never want to say no that you can't come in because you're an apprentice he's still an apprentice right now no not anymore thank god no. all right cool so the first blood. three years yes so, yeah it's brutal oh yeah it's brutal so, they, they'll, they'll, they'll have you they'll have you haul in everything they'll yes. listen so it move was that a lot. two inch, move that. Okay, pick that up, move it. Over. It's like, geez, dude, pick it up, do it again. So yeah. I just picked it up, and moved it, get this log, and get, get the, you know, it's very interesting. Um, so you're starting off life, right? Um, and you have a new marriage, a, a new child, a new job. Yeah. And, um, um, uh, and, and, it, luckily, you're you're home, right? You're still close to here, yes. right? So you still kind of get to have that kind of support system. Oh yes. You mentioned how 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 vital was it like your family? With oh, I I don't think I could have lived without like my parents, hmm. just because you know Ryan was gone all the time at work and I had this baby and 
I would go spend the night at my parents. Like he'd work, he they have to work 24 hours mm. sometimes, and I'd be like, "Can I come over? I don't want to be alone. I don't like to be alone still." Sure. So it wasn't necessarily that I needed help with the baby. I just didn't want to be alone. Um, so, and especially having like my dad, a man. I mean, Ryan's a great dad. He's always been a great dad, but just. He was less present, but especially our first one because of his job. Yeah, he had to go through it again. Yeah, so having, um, you know, her to have her grandpa as a male in her life was great. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, uh, so, are you working during this time? Obviously no, not, right? Because I mean, home. this is crazy. You were also sick, pretty sick when you had her. Was the relief pretty quick when you got? Yeah, I mean, I was only sick for the first trimester okay okay okay. yeah but still i just bleh (laughs) yeah no i imagine it sucks i i um my mother was going through it uh when when she had my sister and i was the only child for most of my life okay and so i don't i never knew what it was to kind of have um uh to see someone go through that kind of the whole pregnancy side of thing i never never, but i've been around babies like my whole time like a lot i don't know why uh, because when I was in the YMCA, I would take care of babies. Okay. Like, I would just, they would just be like, I, it was child labor. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just straight up, like, hey, do you, hey, Jill. Like, change yeah. the diaper. They're like, hey, run over here and take a, chase the diaper. Okay. So I run over yeah. there and chase what was my, I was like, I don't even know who this kid is. It's not right. my kid. <laughs> so, but it was, uh, it was, uh, I think it does something. It, it's, I think, um, from what I've heard, right, imagine having a kid, it's, um, there's nothing like it. It's to have something right. that is, that is, that is kind of yours in a way. Um, can you kind of explain that experience? It's it's unreal, like the whole process, and it's different every time. Mm. Um, like with my third one, I was sick the whole entire time, mm. so I'm not. I don't like being pregnant, but the baby after is definitely <laughs> definitely right. worth it. Um, but yeah, just going through the whole process, labor this baby's in your belly and now it's in your arms mm. and it's definitely a miracle it's you can't even explain the feeling um and so uh, uh tell me uh, uh sorry your daughter's name my oldest uh yes nora okay and nora right yes you can what type of personality is she <laughs> oh man she's she's funny <laughs> she's crazy um She's dorky. <laughs> she just like makes all the faces, and uh, she's loud, and she makes friends like that. Like, mm. hey, I'm Nora. Let's play. Um, yeah, she. She gets that from you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, my husband's an introvert. I'm extrovert, so we're just like, hey, let's play. Let's hang out. Let's. Yeah, she's crazy. You got, you kind of also enter this kind of like um, mom okay. world as well. Yes. I imagine you make new connections. Oh yeah. Other moms that kind of help. Mom friends. <laughs> yeah. So uh, who, do you, do you have any be friends at this point? Um yeah, mostly now it's the moms that my girls dance with their kids. Oh. So um. Your your daughters are in dance. Yes, my older one is on the dance team. Oh snap. So that well she was that's kind of a break right now. Sure. But, um, sure. And then my middle one dances too, and they're both on like the cheer team. Spirit, they call it Spirit Squad. Get excited. Um, so I kind of I put Nora in when she was two because I needed mom friends. You know, other friends are great. I didn't really even have like my high school friends or anything. Mm. Um, and so I put her in at two and made some good mom friends, and our girls would hang out and we'd go out and. And then we kind of grew apart, but then I have this new group now that my daughter was on the team, and it's so much fun, and it's, you really do need mom friends. Hmm. Like, I love any friend. I don't care if you're a mom or not, but you definitely do need that as a mom just to share the struggles. Sure. Really, you know, because you go through so much. Yeah. And you just, you feel less alone. I think that, um, um, yeah, I, I imagine from from what I've heard is that um, support is really important. When yes. It's um, it, it, you know, I was saying it takes a village to raise a child. I think it's kind of the best it's analogy. It's true. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
um, to do something alone is it's uh, it's a lot of pressure to have like no one to be able to kind of rely on having others to be able to kind of vent to um, not just like support you right so it's, it's like a it's a different some type of support it's like obviously I need someone's help to like take care of the kid every once in a while but sometimes you just kind of need someone to just talk to. Yeah. Like I just need to just like let this like do just. I mean, I want to. Do you ever wake up and want to just like just want to shit? Like you no, know. No, it's too. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like I just need one more hour of sleep. Yes. Just let me just get one more hour. I know that feeling too well. <laughs> I don't know what it feels like, <laughs> but I'm excited. Oh no, but I I, but I I I imagine that it's just it's there, you know. Yeah. And so um, I can completely see this kind of mom. Um, um, this kind of mom support group to be able to kind of help through that, especially the, the your uh, first kid. And imagine as you as as uh, your second, which was the name of your Riley. Riley. Mm -hmm. um, as uh, as Riley comes into the picture as well, I think that that becomes kind of kind of interesting. I imagine now yes. now that Nora has someone to play with. Yes. I think that helps. No. Yes. No. Definitely. But also now, as they get older, you know, they argue. <laughs> oh yeah. But it is. It's still better. It's great that they have each other. It helps. You know? So, so um, did you guys end up getting buying a home in it too, or did you guys already? Yes. Um. Yes. We bought our first home when Nora was like one and a half. Okay. Get excited. All right. Yeah. So we lived in North Rialto. We just moved. Oh, so okay. we took a gamble. It kind of just fell in our laps. Um. We wanted to sell what was high. It's just so expensive to buy right now. Yeah. So we sold our house. We're sitting. We put the money in like a savings account. Sure. For when the market goes down a little, and we're renting a house actually on the street that I grew up in. Oh. And, yeah. Get excited. So, it just kind of fell into our laps. I know the people that own the house because I grew up with their daughter. So we just moved in. Oh, get like excited. Like a month ago. Oh, that must have been a mission. Yeah. Oh, it's. Transitioning Didn't even get me started. <laughs> it's been it's been a process, but so so uh, so you 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 have Nora, you have Riley, um, and um, your husband at this time. Can you guys explain your guys' relationship? Um, yeah, actually now it's it's great. You know, we're best friends. Oops. We have each other to rely on, just with life and kids and it's really hard right now to try to focus on our relationship you know it's always like we need to go on a date we need to go yeah, out but yeah. then we have to find a babysitter yeah i'll babysit me yeah. and sarah will babysit okay no cool we always need babysitters <laughs> say less they're you know, say crazy boys, hey listen <laughs> yeah. hey listen uh. say your boys yeah. i'm like yo let's go hey listen yeah. you don't need parents don't want to do your hair and paint your nails <laughs> i'm in i'll come into the next podcast looking real nice <laughs> you will <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, we really try to, you know, at least, you know, at nighttime we tell the girls, like, you have to go to bed. This is mommy and daddy's time to catch up on our day, on life, on... Yeah, it's, you, you try to, like, teach them life lessons. Yeah. So, so I want to get into this specifically. I wrote this down because this is something I really wanted to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. You, you, there's a vision of life that you had when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. um, I meant, this is kind of what you kind of want it. Mm -hmm. yes. um, um, I know it's not everything I imagine, right? But uh, what are the some of the things that you found in when you were young or when you're in high school or whatever, um, about the life that you went into where you are now? Because um, how does it how does that transition feel from where you started the beginning to the current side of things? How, how do you feel about that journey from point A to point B? Um it's I mean, like you said, I kind of always had this vision. So, you know, I just grew up loving kids, had nieces and nephews. I always kind of felt like a little mom. It just kind of, it was pretty a smooth transition. Let's just, go. You know, because I, I would take my sister's kid, like, walk around Target and pretend they're my kid. Like, people, oh, your kid's so cute. Thank you, I know. <laughs> you know, so it was just kind of like... I just moved right into it. Yeah. It never was like a lull. It just, it just went. It just kind of happened. Yeah. It just, it's it just and happened. um, um, so I mean, imagine you're obviously happy about kind of the things that are going on. Where are some of the things in the future that um, that you're looking forward to? Um, honestly, just 
seeing what's next with life, you know, with, with the girls, where are they going to go in life? Yeah. It's, it's mind-blowing to even think that they're going to be teenagers and stuff like that. So I'm just, it's exciting to watch them grow. And then it was see like where mine and Ryan's relationship goes as they get older, you know, because that changes your relationship. So of course, yeah. Really, just excited where we'll go next, like where we'll move and be, and just you know that type of stuff. Heck yeah. Yeah. So so um, you, another another question I have is that not only do you have a vision of your life, right, but you kind of also kind of have a vision of, of your kids as well the life that you kind of want them to have. Right. Um, since they're just starting off, this would be great to kind of ask, what kind of life do you want them to have? And I know it's kind of broad to ask this question, but I want you to try to be as kind of specific as, as you can, as you kind of get to see their personality. I don't want, we don't have to like control their life in any way. Right, right. But just kind of like, yeah, this would be, this is where I kind of expect them to be. Um, yeah. It'd be kind of cool to see if that comes to fruition in the future. Yeah, well, I mean, for all of them, I just want them to really be what they want to be. You know, we tell them, you can get married and have babies, or, you know, you can go to school and have a job. You can do both. Like, I don't really, I'm not the parent, like, you have to go to college. Mm -hmm. So when I look at their life, I'm not, like, I don't see college. I don't see marriage. I don't see Mm -hmm. just kind of... I'm hoping that we can raise them to, you know, make the right decision, Mm. but for them. And, you know, I always joke because, you know, as my girls, you know, I don't, I don't want them to be firemen or or fire girls, whatever, or policemen, like, that's great. But as my little (laughs) girls, I'm like, no, like, you can't do that. I don't want you to do that. I respect (laughs) that. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. and Ryan always gets on, they can do whatever they want. I'm like, they can do whatever they want, but that. <laughs> Anything but no, that. No, like, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just, like I said, college, marriage, neither. As long as they're, you know, doing something with their life. They can't just, you know, be. But what do you think personality-wise? You know, some 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 of the things I like to see uh, and I like to ask is it's mainly about, like, um, stoicism, like, do you want them to kind of be um, adventurous? Like, what, what, what are kind of the personality that you kind of want them to gain from from you? Um, yeah, I'd like them to, for sure, be adventurous. You know, go out and experience life. You know, that's one thing that I feel like. You know, having a kid so early we didn't get to experience and I don't want like I said I don't want to push that on them like don't have a kid early travel mm. have a kid don't travel but definitely I want to show them like my parents did mm. the, 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 world. the world in some way like right. I'd like to take trips across the country and, yeah. and I'd like them to have that in them to want to continue as they get older and have their own life um Definitely, my middle one is definitely more reserved and quiet. Right. So, I worry more about her. Mm. And, but she shines like, like no other. She's quiet, and then all of a sudden she's on stage dancing, and she has memorized every move, and she has a smile on her face. So that gives me more comfort. Like, okay, she's got this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's so early, so you, it's, I, man, it's so cool, because, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to sound really bad, so just, just, stay just, with you, yeah, please, <laughs> I, I, the closest thing to a baby that I can put into reference is uh, my, my business, and kind of watching when you first initial stages of something mm-hmm. as you're building something, and seeing that kind of like, oh, shit, oh, God, it's going to grow into <laughs> <laughs> it's a demon if I don't get yep. this thing on order. Um, um, but I think it also can be connected to my little sister as well. But I'm not as close as I, I wish I was because I was in Arizona for like a good right. four or five years um, before I finally got to come back and now okay. get to connect with people as well. Yeah. Um, but but um, one thing I think is, is really cool is when you do have 
these glimpses of moments where you kind of see the, the I don't want to say an epiphany, but you kind of see the glitter, the glimmer of just like, oh, heck yeah, this is like potential for like something, for something more, for something better. You kind of cherish those moments. You don't want to let those moments go. Right. Um, and so, um, in, uh, in, your, in your kind of future in life, right, um, where do you kind of want to be? Is, is California the, the home for all homes? Um, is is there any kind of place that you feel like it'd be a great place for you to kind of know that? Um, I love it here. Okay. Good so start. I'd like to stay. I know our very best friends just moved to Nevada. Ooh. Like 30 minutes outside of Vegas. Um, and we helped them move there. And it, it's actually very beautiful. And is, is it Hammer? In, uh, do you know a park? <gasps> Summer, summer. Summerland. Oh, okay. That's, that's, you, that's not. I think it's somewhere similar to that. I think. Yeah. It's very nice, and they keep trying to get us out there. Trying to bribe you. Yeah. It's nice. Come take a trip. Yeah. Come to the trip. <laughs> yeah, because we're there. You know, we hung out every Friday and in between. So, um, who knows? Well, the world if that could be an option. Yeah. I doubt it, but I feel like that would be another option. You know, I'll I'll give you a little little glimpse of something. When I was in Arizona, um, uh, I thought I would miss California more, but it I, it wasn't. It wasn't missing of the California side of things. It was just the more of of connecting keeping connections with the people that are here yes. and I think that's the the I actually had more of an easier life funner life in Arizona than I did when that currently right now in California but um, I just wasn't able to connect with so many people like I could right. one thing that I think California does is that you can literally wake up and doesn't matter if you got something planned or not you're 30 minutes to an hour away from wherever you want to be in life, yeah. and uh, it's all there. Like everything's there, ready to go, waiting for you to be there. While in other states, I mean, Las Vegas kind of kind of get that as well. But in um, but in other states where you, you know you you're like a mission to go and get they got to plan this, you got to get this ready. You gotta, but literally, you can just throw the kids in the car and say, right, let's go to the beach." Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, you don't really need to bring anything. Sure, I imagine you do, but like there's there's just go and kind of have fun and to do these things and trips and adventures um, that could be difficult in other states but man it's it, the, the the quality of life though is so it's like three two two to three times better like you yeah you know, the the struggles that you usually have in California are completely different from the struggles you might have somewhere else. oh so yeah definitely. if you ever do make the choice of change um, I think it's uh um, I don't think you'll regret it. I think it's just more of just be, just try to be prepared with the connecting. Yeah. With well, my worry is that the family and friends. That's what I don't want to leave. Yeah, know, that's, I get it. That's the difficult so it's part. Just if you can somehow get the connections there and keep those connect, use the power of this <laughs> internet that we got here. I know. Um, you can you got you kind of can can be able to cherish those moments as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, so I have a um, so. I, I have some quick questions to ask, okay? okay? Um, but uh, anything else you want to recap about your life so far? Any other final statements? Um, that's, yeah, do you, do you want to kind of like put a bow on and say, hey, look, you know, thank you to these people, shout out to these people, or just like, yeah, you know, appreciate this, or yeah. You know, like, um, I guess like going back to the, it takes a village. I I didn't say, you know, like my, my very best friend that is, a big part she's been a big part of my life and um you know because I said mom friends are important yeah um but she she doesn't have any kids but um you know when I was pregnant with my third and super sick she'd come over and take care of my kids and paint their nails and throw a fourth of July party and I couldn't she threw the party at her house with my husband like she took care of the kids my girls still say Mariana was our, our mom that day, you know? So that's just, you know, you need that. You yeah. need that connection for life. Shout out to Mariana. <laughs> so, um, all right, so so I have some questions. I have called the levels question. Okay. Before I ask this question, are you are you a woman of faith? Yes. Okay. Um, so 
I won't ask that question. So we're going to ask <laughs> uh, the rest of the questions. Um, let's just pull it up really quick. So the first question, it's pretty light, it's pretty simple, but it gives me a better understanding of like you and um, yeah, just kind of what you, the way you think on like the levels questions are deep questions. Um, and the more thing is about to figure out more about, about the way you think, the, the, the kind of life that you have. So um, it's, it's not too crazy, but um, yeah, see how it goes. Okay. So first question. So if you could say something to your 16-year-old self, oh, man. what would it be? Um, enjoy your time. Slow down. You're not. I know me personally, I was always... I want to be 18 so I can go do whatever I want. I want to be this age so I can get married. I want to be this age so I can get married. Like, just enjoy it. Because then it's over. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, you, you mentioned it saying enjoy it, right? What parts do you feel like you didn't really get to look for you specifically? Yeah. That you wish you can enjoy more, get more out of? Savor more before kind of moving on to your growing up and moving on to your next child. Um, I mean, I felt like I enjoyed it, but just more like really enjoy being a kid and not having to worry about life, money, politics, whatever it is, you know, just enjoying the free mind. <laughs> no worry. That's what I wish I enjoyed more. Um, uh, and free mind, you mean in terms of just like, um, kind of like uh, cherishing the moment? In a yeah, way? like I mean, there's nothing to worry about because mm. you're you have. Well, I mean, like me, I had my parents; they worried for me. You know, like with COVID happening, I I cried to my husband. Like I wish I wasn't the parent. Mm. Like you know, you have to make hard choices for your kids. You have that worry mm. that you didn't have as a 16 year old. Mm. So I miss not having that worry. You miss kind of being able to, um, uh, yeah, I, I can see what you're saying. Uh, kind of be free, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Okay. Um, next question. All right. So, gosh, this might be a little bit too deep. So, but um, <laughs> um, what is your favorite color? Blue. So, if you had um, a blind child. How would you explain the color blue? <laughs> oh, get excited. We got the yearbooks, fam. <laughs> I'm whooping them out. Um, okay, so if you had a blind child, um, how would you explain your favorite color? The color blue. I don't even know how you explain that. Um, I just. Oh, man. <laughs> That is a hard question. Just, I mean, when I think blue, I think the sky. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, light and, I mean, that's so hard. Like if you could, I mean, I guess favorite color in general, like for that, you know, feeling your face, you mm -hmm. know, like it's beautiful. Like if you were to touch mommy or daddy's face, you know, it's just, like that, I guess, maybe. Yeah, That's sure. a hard question, it's man. Good one, right? <laughs> I know. I'm excited. Anyway. All right. So, level three, okay? Um, does art imitate life or does life imitate art? I think life imitates, or art imitates life. Mm -hmm. Why? I just, th I think, you know, that people that are artists, they go based off of, like, their painting or drawings or it's life life experiences what's in their mind and what they've seen or done it based off of like that that kind of deep introspection yeah the way they view the world right good I yeah. like it um so um so one of the questions that we like to ask um is do you believe perception is reality the way you kind of see the world is the way um, that reality is to you. Yes. Um, if perception is reality, is there a real reality? Is there a truth? I mean, 
I feel like your reality is, I mean, the truth for you. Mm. But I don't think there's like one truth. Mm. Everybody has their own truth and own belief. So my reality is different than your reality. My truth is different than your truth. Mm. So, yeah, that's, I don't think there's just one reality and one truth. Interesting. Okay, well, I like it. Get excited. Yeah. So we got these earbuds. We're gonna swap oh, out yeah. of here. <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna uh, we're gonna view some stuff. Um, <laughs> what what is this one? I don't know if this is like. Holy cow. Are you in this one too? What's that? Here, one? you check this one. Okay, and I'll check this one. Wait, no, I didn't go to Heritage. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah. never mind. Let me get this back. Okay. Just yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how to find yourself in your book anymore. You know what? That's in the very back. Very, 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 very back. You have a list oh, and it gives you all of your names. Oh. If you just look to your page, I you know I to juniors and I, I see all my friends. All right, so any of those it's people that L you can mention. Oh, I should have brought this ready, JC. I'm sorry. Oh, so I see Shannon. She was my neighbor. Hey! Yeah, so we grew up together. <laughs> so crazy. It's so weird. <laughs> oh, man. Seeing everybody. Yeah, no, right? What does it go by last name? Oh, Tanner. I actually just ran into him. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, my daughter it's funny one of the first grade teachers she's really sweet wasn't my daughter's teacher but um we actually had that whole shooting at the park thing happen mm -hmm. and um, um I, yeah i went back to the school to get my daughter's stuff and tanner was there and i was like oh do you have a kid with were they at the park and he's like no my wife's a teacher mm -hmm. i was like mrs finn it was the first grade teacher and that i never connected you know sure. anybody could have the same last name and so, yeah, his, and she's, she was pregnant, like eight months pregnant. And so he was just so worried and came to the school to get her. And so it's just crazy to run into him. I went to school with him since elementary school, all the yeah. way through high school. And he was always so funny. So it was just, it was crazy running into him. Yo, shout out to Tim. That's awesome. Oh, you know what? I'm looking under K. Because my last name's Kelly. But that's not my last name in the yearbook. It's not by last name, is it? Uh, I think so. If you look at the very back, like I said, the, the, um, there's a there's a long list and it tells you all the pages that you're on. It's like a encyclopedia oh, or something. On. Hey, JC. <laughs> oh, yo, listen. <laughs> We're gonna. Hey, listen. Oh, uh, we gotta. We we absolutely gonna post that. <laughs> hey, for JC. Oh, here, page one twelve. This is crazy. I have all my yearbooks. I just saw them actually with moving. Hey, you oh, gotta pull them out. <laughs> Let's That's go. Me. Hey. Right there. Do you see it? Yep, I see it. <laughs> Yo, this is great. Oh man. Yo, there's a um, there's a there's a lot of people on here. Your class was interesting. Yo, for uh, what's what's her name? Brianna Johnson. I remember her too. I was like, yo, she's oh, yeah. cute. She played junior. basketball. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa. Oh yeah, she yeah, was Yeah, I think in basketball. she played basketball. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people in there. Like I remember. Um, I thought who else was good? Eric, Eric Jennings. He was interesting. Uh, Danae. Shout out to Danae. We were in the same <laughs> class together. I should cheat off her. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> she was cool though. Uh, shout out to Danae. Um, <laughs> To be honest, with you, this has been very, very gr grateful for you to join us. And, and one of the things, um, and uh, I, like I said, we have a history, and I think what's uh, really important for me is that, like, I was able to kind of uh, um, get to re kind of live this kind of this kind of life yeah. with you. I think one thing for sure is that um, um, I had a really strong connection. I really enjoyed having talking to you. I really enjoyed kind of having you, like, especially in our choir group that we had. We didn't really um, we're kind of like the the odd choir group like you know just like a basic <laughs> so you know weird. it's I like, like there's the choir, uh, the choir group <laughs> with our weird tuxedos and like dresses, Big dresses. And, yes oh. <laughs> it was like horrible i was like oh god uh. but you know um it, it, it uh for us it was um it was something that 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 was like moments and parts of life that was like really helpful during a hard time uh, and i'm um very grateful to have to have you in my life and i'm very grateful to kind of reconnect again to be able to kind of talk about some of these things that and where your life has gone and and, and just like 
man, it's just uh, you're an inspiration to me. And the fact that you have children and um, um, and, and your mother, and you're able to support them through hard times and situations that come up, you, you kind of have to adjust. And uh, the sacrifice you have to make, it's not easy. And um, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I hope to be um, anywhere near a parent that you are and I oh, hope to learn. Be. Oh, thank you're you. such a great person. Oh, I've always that. loved you. Oh man, <laughs> see, same. I love you as well. Yeah. So I, I think that we uh it's so kinda of cool for us to kinda of sit down and have these conversations and be able to talk and, and um um and hear each other's you know, where we came from and how you, not just to get to know each other more. Um and uh yeah, you like I said, you mean a lot to me and I'm I'm so thankful you could join on and get to get to talk about your life and and um yeah, I think for me the best thing I think I, I caught from, from kind of what you're saying is like, you know, you, you have this personality who's, you know, definitely a little sassy, a little, you know, definitely <laughs> flavorful, but you care. You care about everyone around you. You you, you, allow, you you not only just like care about them just like in a superficial way, like sincerely, you feel the way they feel. You want to make sure that everyone around right. you feels like they're being supported. And um, um, yeah, I've always kind of felt like that when I've been around you. Um, you care and so yeah. thank you so much thank, thank you. you thank you thank you for joining us and uh, thank you for sharing your story and uh, I nice. really appreciate it yeah thank you for having me yeah this is fun yeah <laughs> awesome good it was a fun experience like oh we'll get excited <laughs> well thank you everybody um, for joining us today um, and uh, please feel free oh do, do you want people to connect with you do you have like Instagram or anything you want to shout out oh yeah I have an Instagram <laughs> any I Any think my handle hey, is like at Kelly Wifey. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Hey, listen, we, we'll, if you want, we'll put it in the description. <laughs> we'll get her influencing. She'll be the best influencer ever, okay? Influencer mom. And uh, yeah, no, and uh, thank you, Sarah, for joining us and tuning in. Um, and uh, yeah, and until the next time. Um, all right, bye. <laughs>